The Maruti Atiga can be unlocked in three ways. The first way is by using the remote. Press the second button on the remote, pull the door handle towards you and step inside the car. The second way is by pushing the black button on the door handle. Press it and then pull the handle towards you to gain access to the vehicle. Make sure that the remote key is in the vicinity of the vehicle. The third way is by using the key. Slide the button provided on the back side of the remote and pull out the key. Put the key in the slot provided, turn it and get access to the car. The Maruti Atiga comes with a keyless start stop feature. To start the car, press the clutch pedal and then press the start stop button placed on the right hand side of the steering wheel. To turn it off, press the button again. The lever to operate the Viper and the Atiga is located on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Pull the lever towards you to spray the water and clean the windshield. To adjust the speed of the Viper, pull the lever up or down. To operate the rear wiper, turn the knob once. The bonnet of the Atiga can be accessed by pulling the lever placed on the lower right hand side of the dashboard. Pull it upwards and the bonnet pops open. Now, locate the lever provided under the hood, press it to the left and pull the bonnet upwards. Look for the stand provided inside the lid. Place it in the groove provided in the engine bay of the car carefully. The control for the electrically adjustable side mirrors is on the inner side of the driver door. To select the mirror, press the button provided on the armrest of the driver door. Now slide the joystick and adjust the mirror according to your convenience. The headlamps can be used by accessing the stock place on the right hand side of the dashboard. For turning on the parking lights, turn the knob once. To turn on the headlamps, turn it again. To use the fog lamps, look for the button provided on the right hand side of the steering wheel. Press the button and the fog lamps will turn on. The height of the driver's seat of the Atiga can be adjusted according to the comfort of the driver. Use the second lever placed on the right hand side of the driver's seat to adjust the height. The driver info display shows average fuel economy distance to empty and instantaneous fuel economy. It also displays the temperature and time. Tire pressure information of the Atiga is mentioned on the pillar of the driver's side. In case of the Atiga, the tire pressure should be 32 psi for the front tires and 29 psi for the rear tires under partial load. The boot of the Atiga can be opened in two ways. By pressing the unlock button on the remote, the boot opens up. Just pull the lever provided beneath the chrome, pull it upwards and get access to the boot. The boot can also be opened by pressing the black button located on the top of the chrome strip. Press the button, pull the door upwards and open the boot. Make sure the remote key is in your hand or pocket. Accessing the spare tire of the Tiga is a tedious task as it is placed under the car surface. Firstly, open the boot and look for the cabinet provided on the right hand side of the boot. Next, open it and take out the toolkit. Now look for the cap provided on the boot. Take it off with the help of a pulley. You will find the nut beneath it. Unfasten the nut and the spare tire will come down. The fuel lid of the Ortega can be opened by using the lever provided on the floorboard of the driver's seat. Pull it upwards and the fuel lid will open. To fill the wiper fluid, open the bonnet, find the container with the blue cap on the left hand side and fill the fluid with the desired quantity. Do not forget to close the cap. To pair your phone with the Bluetooth of the Atiga, select connect phone option on the infotainment screen and click add device on it. Turn on the Bluetooth settings in your phone and scan for devices. Select the Atiga's Bluetooth on your phone. 
Select OK on the infotainment screen and the phone gets paired. To get access to the third row, look for the lever provided on either side of the second row seats. Pull the lever up, slide the seat forward and enter the third row.